How's it going guys? My name is Graham. This is Plunge, a brand new game that just came out today. I just kind of came across it on Twitter a couple weeks ago and I thought the the energy behind it and everything, the, the artwork, the soundtrack, which absolutely stood out to me, and everything about the gameplay, it all just looked so amazing and uh, like I couldn't not give it a try. So I, I want to just go for it because it just seems so neat. It's a rogue-like or light. It's turn-based. I don't really know how roguey it is, but I, I don't know much about the game. I was just sold on the, the art, the trailer, and the soundtrack. Congrats, pal. You're the billionth prisoner. One single billionth. Charges include... Huh. Well, I guess your existence is a crime. I really like your hair and your matching spear. Rude. I want to, like, throw an insult back at you and, and you know, see how you like it, but it, they're way too stylish. <laughs> to be honest, one billion prisoners is a little over capacity. Flipping over in a little dungeon door there. Bye, Billy. Bye-bye. And so I just get to plunge down into the depths? What did I do? I, I guess existence is the main thing, but I wonder if there's anything else. So... Each motion that you make just kind of zips you across the entirety of whatever line you're on. It kind of reminds me of the logic of, like, one of those Pokemon puzzles where you're, like, slipping around one of the icy dungeons. So if I go across, I'm going to end up directly in front of this guy. Yeah, okay, so he was winding up getting ready to attack, but he didn't immediately attack. I guess initiating attack is still a turn. I kind of have to get used to, like, the mechanics... There, each little room is a puzzle, because the game is drawing... I, I could choose to straight up ignore him too, right? Absolutely. The game is drawing upon, like, pre-built rooms. So if you've learned the layouts of the rooms, you can solve it puzzle style, and for now I'm able to just kind of continue continually dodge around these enemies. Unlocked iron blocks. So I can just straight up go for it, right? I, I should zip around and kind of try other things, like explore the level a little bit, see what the different colors mean and do. Stepping on that doesn't seem to do anything. I Can I access or interact with the switch? Like, it seemed so simple. Now there's so much more to figure out. I must be able to let this guy out of this cage somehow, right? You gotta figure out, like, the internal logic of this. Unlocked a prisoner, Billy. I thought I was Billy. Oh, but that's Billy spelt differently. So, that's a new path I can go down? Because there was already that other area open to me. Life sentence plus four maximum health. Oh, I have two to choose from? I hardened criminal plus two max health and starting armor. I'll give it a try, I guess. Oh, interesting. Okay, I'm still in the holding blocks. That hasn't changed. And I'm, I'm looking around. I have two little shields of armor. So I guess I just advance forward. I'm, I'm curious when I start interacting with parts of the game where battling is like a necessity. So this guy's going to start chasing me. Oh... If I run to the end, he's going to chase after. Oh, he has range. Okay, well, I'm just bailing on that. He took out both, both of my shields. I feel like I should try to avoid battling as much as possible, but I can kill this guy before he can kill me, so it's worth it just kind of jump over there and give it a quick try. This guy has more health, so I think it's in my best interest to try and avoid confrontation. Battling seems unwise. Now I gotta worry about robo dogs. Aw, oh, but I triggered the trap. Hopefully, the trap turning off is instantaneous. It isn't. Oh, okay. Okay, I, I could have went back and stopped it like that. I can zigzag back around and recover one of my shields. I'm kind of ju just having to piece together, like, the internal logic of this game as I'm going. Ah, he's gonna get the shot off on me there. And... And that was unwise because it held me in place for the other enemy to be able to get a shot off on me. So I get kind of like one preemptive by charging him. I wonder if I can kind of bait enemies a little bit. Hmm, I wanted him to step one forward there. Like if you bait enemies a little bit and then get your shot off on them first and then like run. I don't know how much running and avoiding 
is an option in this game. Oh shit, I gotta re-drop the spikes again now, don't I? <laughs> See, now here's where the puzzle is coming to play. The puzzle and the panic of the fact that I gotta run away from this thing. You can just run yourself into a wall a few times like that in order to force the enemy to make their moves. So I, there, that's, that was some effective dodging. See, that ended up working out quite well. I know I'm in like a tough place that I'm, I'm very injured and that I can't afford to stay like this. See, if I go here, why didn't he immediately, immediately wind up at an attack? That was awesome now too, because I just forced that guy to throw a spear at the other. Oh, I should have went back and claimed that shield. I absolutely should have done that. But that's like... I, I'm liking the discovery of playing around with the mechanics of the game. It reminds me, see, I'm going to force him to take a step so I can jump one ahead of him. I, he was carrying a potion or something. First potion, extra drink, mystery liquid. Healing, very useful. Discovered, so now if I ever find that potion again, I'll, I'll have that. That's like, I, I, I've learned it the way you would learn pills in, like, Isaac. But the the way of, like, learning the mechanics and the interactions and everything... Ah, uh, he's gonna chuck the spear possibly before I could, I could run and get a stab. Is reminding me of Into the Breach. That's the game that I'm thinking of right now. That robo-dog has a potion. We got guys with shields that you have to sneak up behind. Uh, better get the the kill off while I can I'm gonna grab another potion drinking a potion doesn't count as a turn nothing moved when I did that that's what I was specifically curious about just there ineffable I don't know exactly what's what that's doing what if I go up against the shield fully blocked are they only moving once every second turn or, or anything like that nope nope <laughs> The two of these guys together have me pinned. Oh, but I can get him to raise his shield. Shit. Uh, I could, I got the side attack. He raised his shield. That fool. <laughs> he opened himself up to an attack. I shouldn't have lived that. That was very tight. This guy has a shield, but I'm going to try and get... I went through the shield, so I do more damage than I thought I did. I picked up his shield. So that's like an extra little layer to that. Is anyone standing... I can put a wall up between us, so it, it makes it harder for this guy to kind of get around. I could I could try and bait a little bit. He's carrying the key. So it's it's introduced me to the idea that characters carry items sometimes, and now I have to go do that. Poison unlocked. I don't exactly know what I did. Just making it to the tenth floor, I guess, might be like a, a check a checkpoint of some kind. So what's your deal? <laughs> the place boing. I thought it was going to be a bong at first. Take less damage when under special effects, so that, that would probably be any of the possible potions that you can get. Momentum, deal extra damage when attacking from further away. Oh, I do kind of do that a lot. And Desperation, deal plus two damage when you are below half health. Oh, I've been at half health majority of the time. So I, I is me flashing red what is visually letting me know that I'm below half or that I have desperation going on or anything. I like having a visual reminder of what my upgrades are if it's not going to be present on screen somewhere. Now I'm wondering, now there's less of a, a puzzle feel to it. Well, yeah, that extra damage went a long way. Oh, that's probably what the little fist is uh, next to my health bar there, is showing me that I have the extra damage. It's feeling less puzzly because there's clearly not one set solution to, to everything. Boom! <laughs> the extra damage was the way to go. I'm gonna live. I'm gonna live this dangerous life. I don't even. I never want to heal. Shields. Shields are gonna be my absolute best friend. Actually, sneak up behind that guy. I don't even want that ham. Mmm. I'll grab it. But I'm gonna lose that extra damage. So I just have to be mindful of that. Oh, nice. I can kind of. I can bash him in a way that still backs him off from me a little bit. So, yeah, I, he, he's facing the side so I can still get him. So that's an interesting thing too, is I can like do a bit of a, a shield bash, even though he's the one carrying the shield, to get him to step off from me so that I can go and make like a, uh, 
See, I'm going to get hit, hit either way here, so I'm going to kill the guy with the shield since he's harder to deal with. That puts me back up to extra damage, which I kind of wanted in a way. <laughs> I know that's like playing risky, but the risky making it up as I go strategy has worked for me so far. I'll be curious to see if other enemies like one of these guys has the ability to activate spikes and things like that. I have to step on it twice to get rid of the spikes there so I don't kill myself. Um, I can't remember now if I've seen an example of that. It's interesting because this level layout looks familiar, but I have not fought this combo of enemies. And even if the layout's familiar, the door and key can be in new places. So that's a very little, like, smart thing that this game did. Now I gotta, I gotta kill that guy. Ah, uh, I just gotta flee. That's my favorite thing in this game, is when the, the spear flew through and stabbed that other enemy, and then just there, the dog left, and then got bashed by that guy. Now I have the healing in my back pocket for if I ever need it. But otherwise, I'm just gonna keep skating around this game invincibly this is fun this is so fun okay first step no more dog i don't want to have to worry about excess uh enemies like that it's easier to just get rid of things you know kill the immediate threat out of the way i'm gonna go grab the key he's gonna chase after me that's fine i'll figure it out one attack two attacks um, I have to kind of skate around to take a path that doesn't involve activating the spikes. I'm trying not to kill myself on a moment-to-moment a -moment basis here. Ooh, okay. Avoid that. I hope... I, I really, really don't want both spear guys going after me like that. I kind of was aware that that was a, a, a trap that I was potentially setting myself up for. Shit. Uh... Damn, I, I gotta figure out how to specifically get to there, and I'm not quite seeing it. I think, oh, yeah, I'm not really seeing, I think I have to zigzag way more than I was expecting. That thing did more damage than I was expecting. Shit, there was no way to kill that guy unless I could find, like, a ranged attack or something. How how many zeros are there in there? I'm one billion and one. That totally makes sense. The first character, the first Billy, the other Billy with an IE, was the one billionth prisoner, so this guy is the billionth and one. Presumably the ID number is, like, of all of the characters, all the attempts I've ever made... And that was the first escape attempt I made with this particular Billy. 17th floor, 289 turns, 8 minutes played, workplace injuries, 93. Those are the enemies I killed, I guess. Witnesses spared. It's a funny framework of how to refer to, like, the different characters and things. Oh, I'm back at the holding blocks. So, I, I, I'm not unlocking another character. Like, I would just skate around and it's going to ask me which... Billy I, I want to play as, right? No, I unlocked another prisoner. Bellow. I, I have no idea how or why I'm unlocking new characters by doing things like that. What about these books? These are different thing. Hardened criminal, desperation. Okay, these are the different charges that I've found so far. Uh, what else could I, like, interact with in this room? Step on this pedestal. Maybe I haven't, like, unlocked... Whatever that is yet, that's something I, I haven't reached. This is clearly a shut door, so I definitely haven't accessed that. Maybe these are tiers. Maybe if I reach level 50 or 100 or something, I, I don't know what the cutoff would be, then it makes another area available. So that freeing the, freeing the prisoner was me unlocking them. I didn't immediately switch to them. So I have... Oh, they, they're both ID a billion and one then. Oh, is this just like male-female or something like that, maybe? But then we also have Bellow, Forgery, Gain Armor Every Few Floors. That's a funny take on forgery as a crime. It's kind of brilliant, actually. And she's holding like a gavel slash blacksmith's hammer. I wouldn't have just... I, I had no idea that there was such like a, a high concept to this game and like... 
how hard they would lean on that. I was entirely just going on the trailer and the gameplay seemed cool. I had no idea that they were going to so cleverly come up with this, like, unique framework for it and everything, and I'm into it. I really, really like it so far. So I'm going to flee. No, I should have just attacked, because I would have attacked first for sure. Well, I'm going to shield bash him. Hmm, I was kind of trying to bait him to attack first. Whatever, he... He actually saved me there, because if he wasn't standing there, I would have zipped to the far side and then had to take a few extra steps. It's not that taking extra steps burdens you or slows you down in any way or anything like that. That was really cool. Another thing that just, like, kind of registered for me now is that those first few levels were, like, inconsequential. Those were just, like, the tutorial, and then I went to the holding blocks. Oh, no. This is... Very difficult, conceptually. Nice. I, I've I've been on this level before. The, I think the game stated it had something. Oh crap! Like 400 unique level layouts to pull from, and I don't know if that includes different spike placement, different trap door, and different key placement and things like that. I don't really think it does. Okay, I'm glad to. <laughs> Okay, this level is is a little more puzzly. I'm, I'm glad that the flip thing was gone by then. So, confirmation, not all potions are going to be good. Kind of suspected that might be the case a little bit. Know it for a fact now. That dog picked up the ham that the other guy dropped, and so now this guard, or whatever he, he counts as, just did the same thing. I'm, I'm fleeing around as best I can to, to land the killing blow. I didn't even need... I guess I didn't even need the ham. I just enjoyed the uh, prospect of bashing him up real good. Oh, can't wait to sneak up on this guy, not paying attention. Gonna make him pay for that. Take... Uh, well, that was a little bit foolish. I kind of guaranteed that I was gonna take that hit. To But I, I really wanted to take out the ranged character. I have also definitely been in this room layout before, but I was looking at it from a different perspective. I, I guess I've chalked myself up to, to take that hit, but it was like rotated 90 or 180 degrees or something. And so there is something in your brain that has to like rethink through it more so than you would maybe expect. Oh, this is bad. Nope. That's the spear thrower who's gonna hit the shield guy hit the shield guy and the dog you fool <laughs> you really you really screwed the pooch the pooch and the shield guy you screwed them both that was terribly done i hope you got fired over that one pick it up a little shield to give that guy what looked like a little knee you're wielding this hammer but the way you attack it's, there's there's a lot of oh i was too eager there there's a lot of body motion going on. There's the dog triggering. Also picked up the key and ran away with it. But uh, the dog triggering the, the pedestal thing. There's a lot of knee action going on for a character that's wielding a hammer. Peaceful resistance. Gain armor every three enemies spared. Nah, that's not going to go over very well for my playstyle. Leftovers. Greater chance of meat when slaying all enemies on the floor. That's normally how I've been playing. Iron Tom, ignore negative effects of potions. That sounds really useful. I'm going to skip it because I think discovering for the sake of the video and early game while you're like learning mechanics, being introduced to like the potential negative effects and everything is super interesting to me. So I, I like kind of like the idea that it's staying, uh, that, that that possibility is open to us, that you could totally end up with something weird like flipping the level upside down. I want to remain, uh, leave something like that open. Ah, uh, dang. I was hoping that the raised pedestal would be something that this enemy wouldn't be able to reach. Huh. You're gonna force me to go down there, huh? There was no other option. Dang. I got robbed from clearing the level. Well, that guy got attacked and for some reason didn't turn around, opening himself up to the secondary attack there. I was waiting for one of them to trigger it. Oh, there, they did it eventually. It took them a few steps to get to it. I'm willing to accept that one damage there. I'm 
supposed to get armor every few levels, so I, I'm not being overly cautious with my health. I'd also rather just... I'm just doing, like, a very short preview of this game. I'm not going to do a series or anything. I just wanted to show it off because I think it's neat. So I'm playing, like, riskier and stupid, and I'm thinking through my choices. Just definitely not as hard as I could be, you know? Well, I hate the spear-throwing guys, so I'm taking them down. We got, a, we got another meat holder. That'll be useful. I don't like this little corner I'm stuck in. Yeah, I should have fled. It, immediately I realized that was a bad, that was a bad choice. Another, uh, the ID number is totally random and weird for this character. Guess I don't fully understand how they're doing the ID number thing. Didn't unlock a new character on that one, but the, that table has like potions on it all of a sudden that weren't there before. So it's just to investigate the different types of potions that I've found, I guess. All right, well, I I only did the tutorial with the initial Billy character. So I'll I'll try that again. I'll take I'll take her down for for a quick run and this will probably be my last run of the video. Well, that's an easy quick one two there to to take that character out. I like running to the trap door while it's still opening. I wish I could think. You guys are going to have to team up with me here. What show, like TV show is it specifically that had an animation style similar to this? Oh, I I I could have I could have taken the attack there actually. There, that's what I was waiting for. I'm trying to bait him into that. Come on, dog. I wanted you to to take a step forward on that one. I'm trying to I'm trying to force these characters to set themselves up in ways that I could take them out more easily and they're not being overly cooperative. There's something about the thick lines, the way things are like rather than being shaded. I there is shading, but a lot of the detail is just in other thick black lines like it's driving me nuts that I can't think of what cartoon it's reminding me of. But hopefully with your help, we'll figure it out. If anyone can can nail that down, that's getting like a pinned comment from me because it's driving me a little bit nuts right now. <laughs> Anyone who's watching doing doing some backseat gaming here is going to be driven nuts by the inefficiency of that route that I just took there. This game has so much speed running potential, but at the same... I don't know, I guess people like speed run s s games like Slay the Spire and Isaac and roguelikes and stuff. I was going to say, does it really count if every iteration of the game is going to be totally different? But nah, that's totally like part of it. It's like, which uh, character were you playing as when you speed ran? And, and uh, different... Basically, that's the extent of it. <laughs> Unless the game is going to add in things like that seeded, seeded runs and things like that. Daily runs. Blinking strikes. Oh... Can I not even kill anyone right now? All I can do is switch spots with them. I teleported to the key there. So it was uh, anything you would interact with it teleported me to. That was really cool. And it's all colorful and sparkly the way that the character, the like judge from the opening sequence was. Slick kicks, ignore trap effects once per floor, one upmanship, when only you and one other enemy remain, all attacks are lethal. Oh, so you're fin you have like a finishing blow thing and immune to toxic effects. I'm gonna go with the one-upmanship because I like the idea of just like spanking a bunch of enemies around the room and then doing finishing it, like putting an end to it with like one big killing blow. That sounds very exciting to me, and I'm gonna use it to my advantage as much as possible. So there, I get the one-two. And that should kill him. One shot. It even highlights it for me, in case you forgot. Or if you were sitting there being like, why the hell did I kill that guy so effectively? <laughs> Didn't even need to one shot those guys to save so little health. I just realized that guy dropped the shield. I guess it's a good idea to do a scan of the enemies and see who is carrying, carrying items and things like that. Wait. One unman. Whoa. Did that just work against me? 
I think it did! That's kind of brilliant as well! That adds so much more depth to that as, like, a skill. Let's see, let me, let me find this one. When only you and one other enemy remain, all attacks are lethal. I thought I could just breeze through, just absorb the one damage, or whatever minuscule amount it was gonna be. Who cares? Doesn't matter. Nah, I signed up for that. That was my fault. <laughs> Well, guys, here it is, Plunge, available today on Steam. Link in the description, you guys can go check it out for yourself. I think it's the coolest. I think this is such like a brilliant, creative, exciting, fun, fast-paced, kinetic, is a good word for it, uh, game from like a, a first, I believe a first-time developer. They've been spending quite a lot of time like bringing this game to fruition, and I think it really came together excitingly well. I, I'm... Very happy for them, and I, I, I really hope this game is a success, because this is cool. I, I hope you guys are as interested as I am. Thank you all so much for watching. I'll see you again soon.